It's the Insane Board Game Freak Show! Yay! Dun, 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 dun. It's a game that's based on the old 8-bit Nintendo game Zelda in lots of ways. Or any of those other kind of 8-bit video games, fantasy adventure games. The Holy Grail awaits. Control a member of King Arthur's court and compete against your friends in an adventure through the forests of Albion. Well, Albion. Anyway, the first player to find all three sacred relics and claim the Holy Grail itself, or to amass 40 gems. Wins the game. Explore. Scroll between forest tiles, just like in the games of old school. Old school. Anyway, hack and slash. Roll dice to out to cut bushes. Slay enemies and collect loot. Get treasure. Find keys to open treasure chests. And gain awesome treasure. In this episode, Super Camelot game, the tile placement, the board game, quick to the board game rule. I almost slipped on the stool there. Just remember to put the stool back underneath your ass as you attempt to sit down in front of the table to review this game. Ow! You did that! I did not. You, you computer, you. You're not sitting, you're not gonna... Review the board game in the board game review screen today in this episode. Why? Because you pulled the seat out with your force of electricity out in front of me. Under, from underneath my rear end. I fell on the floor, you know. I just cracked my crack. Oh. Alright, all you board game freaks out there, it's Super Camelot Game. The tile placement board game. All right, so now in this game, um, it's like playing an old school video game, but it's pretty cool. It's a dungeon crawler. Well, at least my opinion. All right, let's check this baby out. It's really cool. Before showing you this game, I like the side of the box. It's pretty cool. I like that. Cool. All right, so now you're going to get the instructions in this game, obviously. You get the tiles, okay? And you're going to place them out to make um, your first set of the four tiles together to form a square board. And then you're going to put um, the castle along with the Holy Grail inside of it. Now, uh, these are going to be your pouches. Each player is going to get a pouch, and you're going to be able to get a chance to Hide your gems behind the couch. Uh, behind the couch. Yeah, that's usually when I keep my gems behind the couch. Where's my laughing box? <laughs> oh man! Last week I found a uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich underneath the cushion. Good thing it wasn't tuna. Anyway, so what do you call it? Um. So you fold them up like that. And you place them in front of you, and you got to collect forty to win the game, or. Most likely, what you really got to do is um, collect three relics, okay? And uh, earth, water, and fire. And then you got to uh, bring them back to the castle to claim the Holy Grail and then win that way. But, you know, most of the time, a lot of players just usually go around the board trying to collect 40 of these gems to win. And then you keep them behind here so that people don't see your progress of how many gems you got yet, you know? But, um... It's a four-player game, and then uh, you get to do that, and that's it. So you know, so uh, you know, the green's worth one, purple's worth five, and the red is worth uh, ten. 
Or that's supposed to be blue. I don't know. Whatever. But then they keep reminding you. Collect 40 to win. Alright. So that's what you do tonight. With that. So this game is really cute. It's fun to play. It's, you know, really easy to learn. Really easy, simple, fun, get basic game to play. Uh, here's your player market piece stands that you use. Here are the gems. So yeah, it is, it's green, blue, and red. Okay. And you're going to put those on the board. Here's your dice. And that's what uh, your, your battle dice is going to be like. So um, the shield mark is obviously a block. So you're going to defend yourself with that and block an attack from a bad guy. This means you got a hit with the swords. This means you got blasted. So, you know, you just got rocked. But anyway, um, what do you call it? So here's the uh, tile. You can put the castle together. Let me set up the board. I'll show you this game more in depth. You get trees. You get obstacles. So as you're playing the game, you're going to be putting out tiles when entering a new so when you want to go off the board right let's just say for example i want to go off this tile here now i gotta place this and then put out what the tile asks for so i gotta put out these tokens like a bushes or whatever and enemies and then you gotta battle them out and roll a dice here and try to get a big swing to get these knights but all the um the tiles are, are gonna have symbols on them already so that will indicate and show you easily what you need to put down these tiles as obstacles and enemies to um encounter in that tile once you leave off a tile though they all disappear and go away and then you put down another tile unless only if you return back will you see the treasure chest there but it'll be already opened and looted already so that's the only thing that stays when you put the tile back but then you gotta replace everything else back here and that's it so um but only if nobody is on this tile and if you leave or a character or an opponent leaves a tile and they're alone on this tile and they decide to leave off this tile then that means that you're gonna take it off and then everything else goes away and then you put the tile back and then, you know, somebody else will enter or something like that. So now the big treasure chest is what you want to go for. Because they're going to have uh, big league gear in there. So everything in that chest is going to be boss, you know. Of enhancements for your equipment that you already have. That you collected in the process of playing the game. So um, also, uh, uh, you might get a big load of uh, a large amount of gems in there. So, which will be good, because again, you get to collect more gems. Alright, and that will be, once they're all collected, I think you can get more gems online, I don't know. But anyway, it's a, but they should definitely come out with an expansion for this game. Like, different dungeons, or castles, or mountains, and caves to go in and explore, and play with different boss battles and stuff. That would be really cool. So, in case somebody's listening, you know... Obviously, I won't get credit for it, but maybe I will. Who knows? But anyway, it's it. So, it's just an idea. And then you get these cards here, okay? These cards, they're, you know, um, your character cards. You get Lancelot, and it's going to show you um, a guidance of um, what you could do in the game and this special attack, okay? So, when attacking, you may reroll one die, you know, and then these three shields, you're going to get these shield tokens. I'm just going to find them. Here's one clean shield token that hasn't been wrecked up with. So that means you got, if you get three of those, it's full life. But then if you have one that's cracked, you, you, you lose a, a health, you know, a, a chunk of life. So you didn't lose your life yet and die and lose in the game, but you just lost some energy. That's all. That's all that means. So, you know, you get, um, uh, Nimu, or, I don't know, I forget her name. So, um, this person, <laughs> Lucille, all right, sorry for mispronouncing her names, King Arthur, that's an easy one to know. <laughs> so that's it, and just pause it, read it, study it, learn it, and that's it. When defending, you may reroll one die. 
So it's a, you know, and then you get an objective. They each have objectives on what they gotta do. So he's gotta collect forty gems or claim the Holy Grail to win. All right, and there's the the movements of what he can do. Same thing goes with Merlin. Merlin, you gotta collect forty gems and clean the Holy Grail to win. So it would have been cool if they had like different objectives, but that's just basically the the name of the game. You just gotta collect forty gems and collect and the Holy Grail to win. That's it. So when drawing small loot or a big loot, draw two cards and choose one to keep. So it's just basic, you know, special, you know, abilities they have to do in the game. All right, Guinevere, you get to do that. Recover one health at the start of each of your turns. It's pretty cool. And then they get to do all this other stuff. So it's pretty much basically the same stuff, kind of. I like it, though. It's cool. It's fun. Um... I'll set this up in a little bit. Here's some cards that you may get. The card quality is okay. It's pretty good. Slick, you know. So, not that bad. But here are the Black Knights, the Dark Knights. All right. And drops big loot. So, you might want to go for these guys for sure, even if they're more of a challenge. But with the luck of your die roll, you're at the mercy of the luck of your die roll. So, you might want to try to see if you have a full tank before you go for these guys. You know what I'm saying? So... And uh, that's it. They're double sided. The um, the mimics like to steal your stuff, but you can always get your stuff back. So, you know that's basically it. If you kill them off, you can get your stuff back. Then you get these uh, carnivorous plants, which are bad. All right. And big treasure. So your big treasure, if you you know, whenever you land on that space, you get this. You draw a card and see what you get. So that's pretty cool and easy to follow. You know, uh, same thing goes with the small chests. Then if you land on a gem, big loot, you get to see that, you know, what you get with that. Okay. You got to collect keys to unlock small treasure chests and big keys to unlock the big treasure chests. Sometimes you'll get litter when you cut down bushes, you know, and then the green gem, it's just worth one gem. So collect lots of them, gain one gem, you know, so um, that's basically it. You get health potions too, like in the Zelda game, you know, or those other kind of, you know, games that kind of style or genre. That's basically it. So I can go on my final thoughts about the game, but I'll um, talk more about it and show you the board as it's put out and laid out. But that's it. You just be playing the game just like that. You're going to simply just attach uh, the bushes like that, you know, through a groove like that. So that's that. You get these rocks here, stones, whatever, boulders to get through. You could blast them with bombs. You can use bombs, throw bombs around. These are going to be your relics. You got to collect three of these. Put them in your pouch. And that's that. And then you can go to the, uh, the thrift shop. You got to go to the castle and get the uh, the Holy Grail. And that's uh, um, some of these. That, that's another relic. That's what your keys look like. You know, your knights, these are your characters, your, you know, the good characters that you play in, in the game. Your shields, and you flip them over when they're damaged, when you have life damage. Um, those are those carnivorous plants. <laughs> then you, um, got the, the mimic right there. And whoop, there it is. Thought I knew. <laughs> it's the Holy Grail you put right there. And that's it. And then you go for that Holy Grail. Yay, I win. Yeah. So it's a cool fun game to play. I like it. And then here's uh when when the treasure chest has been empty or open, you just flip it over and you leave it on the board on that tile. But that's it. You just set up the trees, the bushes and stuff. In accordance to what you see is already laid out on the board here. So. And. Uh, okay. So I'm going to show you this. 
This is what that means. You get a gem, two hits, one hit, blank, star, shield. Okay. You can read all that yourself. Here's a little bit of playing the game. Don't forget, you can always enlarge it, depending on what kind of screen you're watching this video on. All right, that's basically it. So, give you a little glimpse to read a little bit of what to do. Small treasures. Some of the stuff you get in the game. It's a nice game. I really like it. I enjoyed playing it. Must have played it like five times or so. But during those times, I liked it. It was fun. It's really cool. Quick reference. See, like I said, you see these symbols on the board and the tiles. You're going to put those things on there. And just match it up. That's it. All right. So final thoughts about the game. All right. I'm only doing this this one time. But the next time I gotta teach you a lesson and pull the plug on you so you can't review a game. If you get pull the stool out from under my ass again. Again, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Alright. But it doesn't mean you get ice cream, though. I know how much you love Rocky Road ice cream. You can't have it tonight because of what you did. You understand that, right? Yes. Alright. But tomorrow, if you're good. Okay, you're the boss. No, it's not being the boss. It's trying to do proper parenting. I'm a computer pal, not a kid. Well, sometimes you behave like one. I mean, what do you think it is for an intelligent computer like you to pull a chair out from underneath my ass? <laughs> then I fall on the ground and you're laughing. I know you were. I know that blinking color that you have whenever you laugh. And I saw it reflecting on the walls. That's just you on, um, your imagination. My imagination, huh? What do you think about the game? I think this game is super fun, super Camelot, super rocks. Let's go with the board game, freak. That's all you had to say. Well, you didn't let me. You had to talk to me sternly, right? What are you doing? I'm turning the sound off of you so I don't have to hear you yap. <clears throat> Alright, so, final thoughts. Now, what do I do with this game? This should take a long time. Hey, I thought I pulled the plug on you or something like that. I turned the sound off. You forgot to push one button. <laughs> Fine, I won't say anything. Good. Wow, 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 wow. Excellent game. Real cool, fun game to play. Easy game to play, easy game to learn. You're not doing anything but just going around the board, you know, uh, searching for items and equipment and getting yourself ready for big battles against the Black Knights. Uh, there's um, the, the mimics that you got to go, you know. Uh, but the Dark Knights are really challenging to fight up against because they, they're, they're, they're strong, 
they have their battle axe and their armor, so it's going to take a lot to try to defeat them. But they're going to give you a lot of good rewards if you defeat them in battle. So definitely try to go for the Dark Knights. Um, the uh, other player market pieces are cool. I like how everything's 8-bit looking like an old Nintendo game from back in the day. It's cool. I like that. So if you appreciate that, you'll appreciate this board game. It's just like that cool, easy, fun play, you know, gameplay fun factor. It's just really cool. I love it a lot. Uh, you're exploring, you know, as I said before, it's hack and slash. It's, uh, you know, getting treasure and getting rewards. And it's a racing game, pretty much, because you're racing to either get 40 points and win or to get the Holy Grail and win. I made up a house rule that you got to get 40 points and the Holy Grail to win with the three relics just to make it more challenging, obviously, because this game ain't that challenging, but it, it is in some ways, especially with some of the battles, you know? So, and you're going up against, you know, two or three or four of the characters in the game. So I like getting the bombs and stuff. I like um, seeing what my surprise is in, in the treasure chests. Uh, battling the Mimics are going to be a pain in the ass because they're really challenging in a way. They steal your stuff, and it's hard to get your stuff back. And then when you get your stuff, though, you could pass the Mimic on to somebody else, get their stuff. It's like chain length in a way, like, you know, like a snowball effect. So, but the gems are cool. You know, good quality components. You know, it's nice. I like the castle, the little castle thing in the middle. It's cool. It's cute. You know, so it's a fun game to play. I like the dice. The dice are good. And just everything and anything about this game inside and out. It's a great game. If you like these kind of games, exploring, like a fantasy game, dungeon crawl game, that's really basic, fun, easy to play, easy to learn. Simple game for kids and family and friends to play on board game night. This is a great game to play on board game night. Um, I guarantee you're going to love it. Uh, that's Super Camelot game. The board game. That's it for today. Everybody looks at this game is over. Board game, freak out. It's about time. That's it. No more ice cream for you to buy. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm giving you something that you definitely don't like. And I know you love ice cream, but you don't like mint ice cream. Ew, no, not the mint ice cream. Yes, <laughs> open up, say ah. Uh... No. What if I told you you could do the next episode I'll be quiet I promise and I won't make fun of you no more alright fine there you go have, have some rocky road oh you brightened up huh you're a good computer man have some rocky road ice cream you didn't poison it did you no why the heck would I want to do that I'm just thinking, just wondering. But you got to play fair in the other board games that we play. Yeah, well, I did the video game thing. You know that. Yeah, well, we got the um, uh, Clue video game, right? Or something like that. Did they have one? You can make it up, can't you? Uh, Yeah, but w w w what's the deal? Why do we keep talking about this stuff? Because uh, I forgot to push the uh, stop button on the, on the uh, camera, and I thought I'd keep on rolling. Uh, well, um, yeah, I guess we could play a video game. Can I pick one out? Yeah, sure. Just, um, are you doing reverse psychology on me? No, I'm not. Just have your Rocky Road ice cream and we could play any video game you want, okay? Just learn not to pull the chair out from underneath my rear end no more. That's all. Okay, fine. But it's so funny. Yeah. Let's see how funny it is next time I really gotta pull the plug on you. Well, okay, fine. I won't do it no more. Great. That's great. Please don't. Um, is this episode over? Yeah.